So I have an airbag light on. I'm gonna run the scanner on here and see what codes come up and uh, see what we can do to fix that. Turns out that uh, this vehicle needs a new ORC, which is an occupant restraint controller. It's basically the computer for the airbags. So uh, I got another one here that should work and I'm gonna put it in. Hopefully that fixed the airbag light issue. So this is right underneath the dash here. Before touching any of the electrical things, especially the computer itself, you want to disconnect the negative connector on the battery because you don't want to accidentally set anything off. Next, you're going to want to get the screws under here. So you may lift this flap up and then you're going to want to unscrew the two screws here. Right, after you get the two screws out, you can start lifting this up. Uh, it's clipped in the front here, so you gotta pull it good. Alright, we're good in there. So, to make it easier, just straight towards us. I'm gonna unplug both connectors for the heated seats and the connector on the back for that. Get this out of the way. So I disconnected these and then I was able to pull it out far enough to get to this connector there. Unplug that, we'll sit that to the side too. And uh, after you pull that out, there's a screw on each side here to unscrew. As you can see, uh, someone took this apart before and they didn't know how to. And it broke where it screwed in so the next step is going to be just lifting up the whole center console and pulling it away but there's a plug here so as i lift it up and pull it back i'm gonna disconnect the connector on the back of that so it doesn't pull okay so i just got that disconnected and i moved the console out of the way there and now we're gonna move in here now we can see there. So make sure that you have the, the battery unplugged before you do that, but we're going to take the red clips on top of those yellow connectors and slide them towards us to unlock it and then press down on the connector there and pull it out. There's not a lot of space at all and uh, it's going to be really hard to get in there. So to make it easier, I'm going to pull this out just the trim around the radio with the controls and stuff all you need to do is grab and pull it outwards be gentle because you don't want to break it but you can use a pry tool but you can also get it out with your hands like that and there's going to be a few connectors in the back that we're going to need a disconnect there we can move that out of the way and it doesn't give a whole lot more room, but it gives some extra room. And that just lights up. So now we can disconnect the connector there. And as you can see, there's like a rubber insulation around that. And uh, we're going to have to take a razor blade and cut around it so we can lift the flap up to access the bolts to get this computer out of there. We got them unplugged we just want to tuck the wires to the side and i'm gonna take my razor and cut the insulation that's around it probably right around there and on the edge there so i can lift this flap up 
and it's gonna have to be cut from this corner to the back, so along this back side. It's not gonna be the easiest thing to do, but it is possible. And to make it easier, I'm actually gonna move this flap two goes away. So I'm gonna unscrew these screws and then I'll be able to lift it up out of the way. Now that the screws are off of this, I'll be able to lift this up out of the way. Put it outside because it's a little dusty. Okay, there's a little bit more room now, so I'm gonna start cutting this and then I'll show you the results. Now slicing it to the back like that makes it possible for you to get a small ratchet with an extended 10 mil on it to the back. It's a bit of a squeeze, but uh, it's possible. So I'm gonna undo the ones that are easiest first. So that one in the front, and then there's that one on the side. You can pull the carpet back. And there's the other one. There's only three bolts holding it in. So let's take those out. but it is possible to get that in there and on the bolt so I'm gonna start taking that bolt out okay once you get all those bolts out you should be able to pull those up now So I'm gonna take the new one and put it into place. You never wanna plug in the plugins first because it'll make it harder, and, you know. So I'm gonna put the bolt in the back corner here and I'm gonna slide it into place and I'm gonna start, start that bolt and then I'll start the other bolts and then tighten them all down. This is the old computer. If you look closely on the left, the bottom left, there's corrosion on the pins. All right, so I tightened all three bolts back into place. And in the manual, it says to put the, the rubber insulation that you take off back in place, but mine uh, ripped apart. It just fell into pieces, so not gonna put it back in there. So I'm just gonna plug these plugs in now and make sure that they're locked. All right, so they're locked in a place there now. start putting everything back in place now so you can either start with that or the center console so I'm gonna put the center piece in and then put the center console back in place remember when you lift the center console back in place to plug that back in yeah, after all the plugs are plugged back in then you can pop this back into place just push it in until it's in place there's clips on the top middle and bottom all right, so I just put the vent back in, screwed it in place. Now we're going to put the center console back. 
All right, so I'm moving the center console into place. Make sure you plug in the plug on the inside here. Slide it into position. You're gonna wanna make sure these line up there so you can screw it back in if you still have the screws. And I'm just gonna wanna make sure that the sides slide into place and then start putting the bolts back in here to secure that. All right, I got that bolted in there now, and you want to put the screws in there. You can put this in there now. And now we're gonna put this part back in. You want to make sure these three connectors here are exposed. And then you can clip this in place. I'm gonna put the two screws back in there. Two screws in. Now I'm gonna put the seat heater buttons and the cigarette lighter back in. So you wanna plug those in and then slide it in. Okay, I got it plugged in and back in place. So I'll just push it in, put it in place. Put this little pedal right there. There we go. Last step is to screw this back on. All right, we're all back together now. So after you reconnect the battery, uh, go ahead and start it up and see if your problem's fixed.